Welcome to Mobility Monday. Today we are focusing on shoulders, so let's get straight into it. Um, you're going to need a yoga block for this first exercise. So we're going to begin on our right side. You're going to rest your head on the yoga block to keep your neck in a nice position and avoid straining the neck at all. You want your knees stacked on top of each other and about a 90 degree angle at the hips there. You're going to take your right arm out in front of you. Now you don't want to reach too far or pull your shoulder too far back. You just want it somewhere comfortable in the middle. This shoulder should be vertically stacked over this shoulder. So I'm not leaning back or leaning forward too much. There's a lot of details in the setup here. Um, I assure you the exercise isn't that hard once we get started. You're going to bend your right arm and then we're going to rotate. Think about rotating the ball in the socket so it's not your entire shoulder that ro rotates and lifts off the floor. The shoulder stays down and the arm rotates in the socket, your hand moving towards your hips. So don't worry if the range of motion isn't huge. Okay, we want to keep that shoulder down on the floor and really think about that rotation of the, the ball and socket joint. And we're going to hang out here for about 60 to 90 seconds, taking nice deep breaths. Notice where you're feeling the stretch. See if you can relax a little bit more. And on exhale, that's when maybe you can go a little bit deeper. This is one of those stretches where getting into the right position and spending a little bit of time on the setup is really important. So once we've held this position for 60 to 90 seconds, we're going to do um, some contractions. Um, and these are pales rails contractions. So a pales contraction is if you're trying to push out of the stretch, and a rails contraction is trying to actively pull yourself deeper into the stretch. So in this case, the pales contraction is going to be trying to rotate my arm in this direction. So I've got my other hand here to resist that movement. And I'm going to start gently pressing into my hand. And then I'm going to ramp it up a little bit, pressing a little bit harder and a little bit harder until I'm pressing as hard as I want to. I'm going to hold that for five, four, three, two, one. And then I'm going to reverse it. I'm going to try and pull my hand towards the floor, getting that rotation coming from the shoulder. So I'm trying to pull my hand towards the floor, three, two, one, and then I'm going to do the same again. I'm going to try and press into my hand, pressing a little bit harder, a little bit harder, five, four, three, two, one, and then I'm going to try and rotate, bringing my hand towards the floor, three, two, one. Take a deep breath and try to relax. And then this next one, you're going to take a deep breath and see if you can go a little bit deeper into the stretch. And now we've got a little bit actually, you'll see maybe I got an uh, inch or so more into the stretch here. I'm going to hold this position for another 30 to 60 seconds. Now it's important to note here, I'm just going to hold this with here. So it's important to note, we want to keep the shoulder down on the floor and we want to be feeling this stretch um, through here. If you are feeling pinching at the closing angle, so at the front of your shoulder here, then back off a little bit or adjust your position so that you're not feeling um, that pinching sensation. It's really important in stretching to learn the difference between that nice stretching feeling and, and something that's painful and not, uh, not going to help you. Okay, let's come out of that and switch sides. So we'll do the other side. So lying on your side, knees stacked about 90 degrees, setting up that shoulder on the floor and then rotating your hand towards your hips. Now don't be surprised if it feels different side to side. If one side is tighter or you can get more range of motion on one side or if the sensation just feels a little bit different. Remember, 
a lot of what we do, you know, most of us are, you know, uh, right-handed or left-handed and we'll do a lot of things with one hand more than we do the other. So it's not surprising that we have some asymmetries. So if it feels different, that's fine. So we're holding this 60 to 90 seconds. I do recommend though, if you have one side that's tighter, um, start with that side. And then if it's a, if there's a big discrepancy, you can always do an extra round on the tighter side. Um, so do that one twice and the other one once. Okay, so we're gonna do our contraction. So I'm trying to rotate my hand in this direction. This hand's resisting, so I'm gonna start gently pushing into my hand and I can ramp that up a little bit and a little bit more. Five, four, three, two, one. Try to rotate my hand towards the floor. Three, two, one. And again, pressing into my hand. Three, two, one. And then rotating, keeping the shoulder down the whole time. Good. Take a deep breath. Try to relax and then try to go a little bit deeper into the stretch. And it's important to spend some time here. Okay, once we've, you know, we did an initial hold, we did some contractions, we got a little bit extra range of motion, and now we want to spend time there, um, which really um, is important for, for getting those lasting changes in flexibility. It's that time spent in, in positions that's important. So holding for 30 to 60 seconds in the final position. Good. And sitting up, coming out of that stretch. So for our next exercise, you're gonna need a bench or chair and a stick. So this is our shoulder flexion with a slight external rotation. So for this one, external rotation is that rotation of your shoulders in this direction. So in order to ensure we get in that position, we're gonna hold the bar of the stick in a reverse grip. And you wanna think about your hands being slightly wider than your elbows, okay, rather than this position. So elbows closer than your hands and you're going to place your elbows on the bench or chair. We want to think about my ribs being down, my back nice and flat. And my goal initially is going to be to try and get my butt towards the Christmas tree. So I'm trying to sit back and get my butt in that direction as far as I can. So I'm sitting back, creating as much length as I can from my elbows to my butt. And then once I've got that maximum length, I'm gonna let my chest drop slightly towards the floor. Now it's important to note, I'm not doing this, right? I'm letting that stretch go into my back. I'm keeping my ribs down. I'm keeping my back flat. I'm just letting my shoulders move a little bit more towards the floor. And we'll hold this for 60 to 90 seconds. Again, notice where you're feeling the stretch and see if you can relax. Now, how much you bend your elbows um, is not hugely important. Um, the more you bend them, the more you're gonna get a stretch in your triceps as well. But just feel, do what feels right, what feels like a good stretch for you. Now the contractions in this position, um, we're gonna actually do rotation. So our pales contraction is gonna be as if we're trying to push our hands towards each other. So I'm trying to press my hand in that direction, but obviously I'm holding the stick so it's not moving. And then my rails contraction is gonna be as if I'm trying to pull the stick apart. So I'm trying to pull the ends of the stick apart, okay? And when you're in this stretch, that one is gonna feel like you're not doing a lot. So don't worry if that's 
how you're feeling. You're not alone. So we're in the stretch now. And we're going to start gently pressing your hands towards each other. And a little bit more. Pressing a little harder for five, four, three, two, one. And now we're going to try and pull the stick apart. And, you know, if like me, you might not be feeling a lot happening here, but it's the intention that's really important. Three, two, one. Trying to press the stick towards each other. And my hands towards each other. And then trying to pull the stick apart. I'm trying to move my hands away from each other. Three, two, one. Take a deep breath. Try to relax. Take another deep breath and see if you can sink a little bit deeper into the stretch. Now this final hold, we're gonna hold for 30 to 60 seconds. And you can always hold longer if that feels like you're getting benefit from it. Good. Okay, come out of the stretch. Um, you can put the stick in the bench to the side and we've got one more exercise to finish up. The last exercise we're gonna do is a shoulder protraction. And this is really important um, for your handstands um, or if you're doing like planches or push-ups or anything uh, of that kind, um, it's gonna really help. So I like to take my hand and turn it over so my pinky's on the top and grab the outside edge of my foot. Some people feel it's more comfortable to grab the inside edge uh, with a thumb up, um, but I get a better grip on this way. So try, we'll see what works for you. Now you're gonna use this leg and you're gonna push forward. And as you push forward, I want you to feel like your shoulder blade is being pulled around here into that really nice shoulder protraction. Okay, so pressing forward with my foot. Now what sometimes happens is people will push kind of this way. And that doesn't really get that same stretch as if you're trying to push forward. So see something in front of you on the floor, like um, down and forward, and to think about pushing your heel of your foot towards that object. And that'll help you get that right intention. So now we're gonna try and do a contraction. So I want you, what I want you to do is think about pulling your foot towards you. So with this arm, arm stays locked out, try and pull your foot towards you. Now you're resisting with your leg, so it's not moving. You're doing all that work with this arm to try and pull your foot towards you. Three, two, one. Take a deep breath and press. See if you can get your foot to move a little further. We'll just hold this for 10, 20 seconds. For this last one, we're just doing, it's kind of a shorter hold with one contraction. Nice thing about that, you could do multiple rounds if you wanted to. Hi, Chester. Okay, you're gonna grab the other foot now, and we're gonna push forward. So the first hold is about 30 seconds. Just thinking about pushing that foot forward, pulling around here, and notice where you feel this. Notice what you're feeling. Oh, is it stinky? Yeah, stinky foot. And don't let your cat distract you from the exercise. Okay, you're going to try and pull your foot towards you. All three, two, one. And then push your foot out for that final stretch. Last time pushing, letting your shoulder blade coming around here. Three, two, one. Great job. 
Um, so hopefully your shoulders now are feeling really good, um, ready for some handstands, uh, planches, push-ups, all those things. Um, and I hope you enjoyed today's class and I will see you next week.